What's up, Blade fam? Finally, we've got some sunshine, a little bit of breeze, but most of all, dry conditions. So we are out here at Goose Gossage Skate Park, and today we are gonna be learning how to do zero spin grinds. Before we get into that, big shout out to the boys over at Death Squad Blading for hooking up the whole fam with dad hats. Okay, so before we actually get into sliding this, I think something that's very important to understand and know how to perform properly is how to skate fakie or backwards. If you haven't already, check out my video. I teach how to skate backwards inside of a hockey rink, so that way you get the fundamentals down. Real quickly though, what we're gonna practice is just getting into our shoulder. So this gets a little complicated for people if you grind opposite from the direction you look. For example, if you look back over your right shoulder, but you grind with your left foot, this is gonna be a little complex. I'm lucky, uh, I skate right shoulder back and I grind right foot back, so these zero spins come a little more naturally. So real quick, what we're gonna do is just practice getting into that fakie position. Um, it really helps to be on the counter side of the sway. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead with our right, left, pivot, and bring that foot down. Mirror this, I can do it uh, left shouldered if you're left shoulder. So instead of going off on the right foot, you're gonna go left, right, pivot, and you're in that position. So before you actually go to approach an obstacle, make sure you know how to do that maneuver and do that maneuver well. Learning both shoulders, twice the points, right? So after you've mastered how to go into the fakie position properly, you then wanna line up with whatever grind you feel the most comfortable with. Um, when I first learned this, I actually learned it doing a star grind, so we'll start from there. So when I perform this trick, setting it up, again, I'll go from the right to the left, pivot, and now I'm lined up. At that point, my good friend Chris Williams said, when learning zero spins, get the idea out of your head that you're skating backwards and just perform the trick as if you were doing it forward. Granted, you are grinding or riding backwards, but in your mind, you've already practiced this a hundred times or whatever, doing it forward. So you've got your forward lock mastered. Now going into it fakie, as soon as you're square with that obstacle, see it, get that lock in, and you're good. This thing does not slide, so that's another important thing. Make sure you wax your obstacle if you are skating or doing this trick on something you've never slid before because if you stick, you're gonna fall backwards and that could lead to injuries. Right, left, fakey. So as you're approaching, just remember it's, it, it's in your head you're going backwards, but look at it as if you were going forward. Once you lock, make sure you keep that downward pressure and stay on the edge of the ledge. When I was first learning this, I tended to round my foot over, which put me over the top of the deck or the ledge, creating uh, some shady stuff, you know, you end up falling. So we've got the first point, which is gonna be the approach, getting into that fakie shoulder. Then you're gonna carve at it just slightly. Remember, I like to talk about and emphasize that arch. Um, you're gonna still visualize that arch. Jump with two feet, land with two feet, get that grind in there, and then the out. So it's really fun is you can do zero to rewind out, or you can do zero to three out that way. The um, options are up to your own creativity. You know, we've got the shifties. Uh, you can come out landing one-footed. Some crazy stuff. So after you've mastered doing this trick on a lower obstacle, it's pretty much the same thing on higher obstacles. The only thing that changes is, of course, the height, but you also want to give yourself the space to jump and land on top. A lot of times when you're skating a higher obstacle, it's kind of like a safety thing. You just want to hug it get really close to it, but that shortens the, 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 the space that you're allowed to get that maneuver in, so it makes it actually really harder, at least in my opinion. 
Um, some people are a little different. My wife likes to carve really close to the box. She's been doing it that way for years. So it is different, but as you're approaching, remember to get solid, push down in your feet, throw your hands over your obstacle. Wow. Get that lock in, stay strong, ride it out. Yeah. So what you want to do is just practice standing next to the ledge and getting into that grind position, whatever grind you choose. You know, I've done all the sole basics uh, or regulars, um, so that's just a generalization. As you get better or master this, you can start doing zero top sides, zero or fakie boot grinds, um, things of that nature as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a zero X grind real quick, kind of my uh, back to blading community challenge. Let's get at it. Okay guys, so there you have the zero spin trick tutorial. I didn't wanna do any specific grind, but a quick hack since you stayed all the way to the end is master zero macchio first. If you get zero macchio first, all the other regular grinds kind of build around that lock point, so it helps knowing that. Um, again, but zero macchio is the harder one out of them because you're grinding one-footed. So figure out what works for you, have fun and enjoy the process. Big shout out to again Death Squad Blading for the hats and just supporting the Acosta Blades family. Big shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you guys so much for your continual support. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if this got you doing a zero spin grind. Till next time, keep the blade alive. Aloha.